Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Russ Mitchell. And I'm Laura Queso. We begin tonight with the latest on the coronavirus vaccinations. We have news to help you navigate the sometimes confusing process of making an appointment to get the vaccine. Last night, we told you about a new website the state is launching to help streamline the system. Now, senior health correspondent Monica Robbins walks us through that website and answers your questions. Think of it like a one-stop shop website to schedule a vaccine. You'll type in your zip code and be able to pull up providers and appointments within 20 miles of your location. Ohio lags behind other states that started similar portals earlier because the governor's original plan was decentralized vaccine locations. However, that plan is causing huge frustration because providers are using different systems and people have to go to various websites. There are now just over a thousand providers in Ohio, but the new one will have to use the state system, and the older ones will eventually have to get on board. Because it started so late, many providers already have their own registries and wait lists. Some may not be able to sync with the state software. Others are concerned the state system will allow cutting in line. And our team is working directly with these providers uh, to assist them in working through their wait lists and potentially integrate these commitments that they've already made and putting that into our system. Uh, without new patients jumping in line in front of them. There are still many Ohioans who do not have Internet access and need to schedule vaccinations by phone. No firm date has been announced, but they want a lot of providers to be on it before it goes live. When it's time for mass vaccination clinics, the state will have a system in place to register and communicate with people wanting vaccines. Accenture, the same company that administers the Ohio Benefits System that determines who's eligible for Ohio assistance programs, programs like Medicaid, a system that has had some glitches in the past. The Ohio Department of Health budgeted $3.6 million for this vaccine portal. Monica Robbins, 3 News.